Hi everyone, my name is Johnny. I work as a solution architect for Red Hat. And today I thought that I'd demo a partner technology from Crunchy Data to deploy a Postgres database on top of OpenShift. There is a blog post explaining some of the steps that I will do that is from 2018, but it's still relevant as of today. Another good source of information is also the Crunchy Data documentation for the uh, Crunchy Postgres operator which you can follow to get up and running on top of any uh, Kubernetes cluster. I have some preparation done already. So I've deployed a OpenShift cluster, which is a nightly build. I've also gone through the operator hub to install the crunchy data operator. So it's already installed here. I've also deployed or created a project called MyDB, which has the necessary labels that is required to be able to be managed by the operator, which you can see here. Otherwise, there is no running container in this project. And now we will make use of the command line client to deploy our database on top of the cluster. Uh, you have a command called PGO, which you can make use of to create a database, which I'm doing now, giving it the name MyDB and in the namespace my DB. In a second, we should be able to see that the operator, there we go, has picked up our uh, commands and is starting to deploy the Postgres database on top of the cluster. We can go in here and see that the container is starting up and we should be able to also go into the running container to see the logs coming out of the database. Since this is a potentially a clustered database, it will make sure that it is the leader with the log, lock, so that it knows that it's the only running uh, database in the cluster. And when we have that up and running, we can also scale this cluster. So PGO scale my database to a replica count of two in the namespace my DB. And yes, I'm sure. The operator then will make sure to deploy a, a replicated a master slave scenario with my database cluster. And that should be happening any second now. And there we go. So the operator took our command to set up a replica two scenario, which is then a master slave scenario. So if we go into one of the running containers, we should see the configuration going into some kind of master slave connection. And here we see that this is now a running cluster and this node itself is the secondary and it's following a leader. And as a final note, I will just show that we can also clean up. So PGO delete cluster my DB namespace my DB. Yes. And after a couple of seconds, the operator will take care of our command and also do a cleanup. With that said, I want to thank you for your time and hopefully you have some information to get you started with running Postgres on top of OpenShift using Crunchy Data. Thank you and goodbye.